focus. I... Focus. Hey guys, Sarah here with that hashtag show and welcome to the Side Quest Bar, where we bring you all the boozy best of everything trending in geek pop culture. This week, Ryan has been given the task of creating a drink to help us get through the best Netflix binge show of the summer, Stranger Things. Hello, Ryan. Hey, Sarah, how you doing? <laughs> I'm good. Did you finish Stranger Things? I did. Amazing show. It was uh, phenomenally well done and well put together, yeah. and uh, the story itself is, is great. It's like if Steven Spielberg and Steve McKee had a baby. I loved it so much. And I love like Winona Ryder, like queen of 80s movies is in this. Yeah, and she knocks it out of the park too as so the mother. Good. Like she's so very good. It kind of, it also makes me really want to put Christmas lights up in my house so that I can hopefully get in touch with the Upside Down. Or see if you've been missing calls from somebody in the Upside Down. Hello. I'm sorry, Ryan's not available right now, but if you please leave your name and number, I'm sure he'll so be able to call you back as soon as he possibly can. Thanks a lot for calling. Have an upside down day. <laughs> I can't with you. Okay. I loved the kids. Yes. I thought they were so talented. I loved mm -hmm. Toothless. I know he has a name, <laughs> but I'm calling him Toothless. Mental. I was expecting, uh, what's his name, uh, Josh Brolin to come out and have like a cameo because he is like the well, 80s man. Right? Well, you kind of got that with the guy who plays the sheriff. Chief Jim Hopper. Yeah, I've got Jim Hopper here. Oh! I did like the teacher, uh, Ned Flanders with yeah. the mustache. Sorry, boys. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but it came. Howdly doodly, kids. <laughs> Can I help you reach into the other world? Like, yeah, he was he was so helpful and always with a smile on his face. Sensory deprivation, what, what is this for? And the girl who played Eleven? Yeah, oh, she was fantastic. So talented. She's so good. I loved every time she used her power. Like, when she got stronger and stronger and stopped caring, she, her nose would bleed and she'd be like, I don't give two shit. <laughs> throw you off a cliff, you leave my friends alone. All right, well, let's make this drink, and then maybe we'll get in touch Excellent. with the level. So, being set in the 80s, yeah. I did some research on what some of the drinks were back in the 80s that were made popular in that era. Okay. And it was a lot of sweet drinks, like, um, the pina coladas and things like that. Yeah. They had gone away from the classic cocktail making and uh, the 80s was a time of like, let's just drink to forget all of our problems and sorrows and woes. There was one cocktail that stood out to me. It's called the Bramble and this is kind of a take on the Bramble. Okay. So we're gonna start off with gin. Oh. Which I know is one of your favorites. Oh yeah, I love gin. Yeah. Oh, so much. And isn't gin a, a word for like a little demon or something, or like a fallen angel. I think you're making things up. I, I, I think I'm making it up too. <laughs> making it up as we go. So we start off with about an ounce of gin. With a tree. And then we give it a little bit of lemon. And then typically they would do uh, like a blackberry or a raspberry puree in here. Mm -hmm. But uh, they are not in season. Oh, fair enough. So, what we're gonna do instead is just use a little bit of blue agave. Cool. To sweeten it up a little bit. And then we're gonna. Like a squeeze. Like a squeeze, exactly. Yeah. So, we're gonna shake it. Like a Polaroid picture. There we go. So now we put that into our glass, throw in a little bit more ice. Oh, yep, smells like Christmas. It smells like Christmas. So, we then add a little bit of our lemon lime. Our lemon lime soda, give okay. it some bubbles. And then to top it off, instead of a blackberry brandy, we'll go with raspberry. Okay. Give it kind of a summertime binge type of a feel. And there it is. So this one, for Stranger Things, oh. I like to call Stranger Danger. 
because it's gonna be so sweet and so good that you're not even gonna be able to tell that there's a lot of gin in it, hopefully. I like that it's got two different layers. That's color. right. This got the upside down and you got the real world. When there was a lot of blood in the real world. That's very true. Poor Barb. R. Poor R. P. Barb. Barb. You were saying? So are you stirring it? What are we actually what's happening? I'll just put that in there as a garnish. <laughs> very mad men of you. Jen, it's like licking a tree. Like this pine. <laughs> <laughs> So what do you think? Did it bring you right side up, or is it gonna turn you upside down? This is actually pretty good. And I, and I don't like gin, you know this. I was kind of pushing you on this beverage. Mm -hmm. So if you like gin or you don't like gin, this, this will actually help you out. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna drink this while re-watching the best show of the summer. Stranger, Stranger Things. Things. So guys, thank you so much for watching. If you wanna make this drink yourself, the ingredients are listed in the description below. And make sure you subscribe to that hashtag show so you can keep up to date with everything trending in geek pop culture. Again, I am Sarah. I'm Ryan. And we'll see you next week.